Hi, I'm Poppy Balser. I'm a watercolor painter. I paint outside a lot on the shores of the Bay of Fundy and I'd like to share what I know about painting rocks and spray in watercolor with you through a streaming video offered through the Canadian Society of Painters in Watercolor. So this will let us work on a few things. It'll let us work on painting spray, it'll let us work on painting wet rocks and then dry rocks and how to paint them in a way that you can differentiate between the two. It also will let us work on what I think is one of the most important parts of painting a seascape is how to portray the rocks so that they're part of the environment, so that they are actually connected to the water. So they look like they're rising up th through the water as opposed to sitting on top. What you'll learn when you go through this exercise is you will learn how to reserve the whites in a watercolor painting. All these whites you see here are the white paper showing through. I have not used any white paint. You'll learn the importance of doing a value study, a warm-up black and white study of the scene. Here's an example right here. find that doing one of these is very helpful. It lets me practice all my brush strokes and think about the division of space as I've drawn it. So you'll learn how to use soft edges to suggest ocean spray. And as part of that, I'll show you how I make these soft edges, which is an important skill to have. I'd like to soften here too. Not too much. Here. You can soften quite a bit because this bit's more in shadow. Again, I'm going to put some warmer tones in there, just a little bit. You'll learn how to use light and dark and then warm colors and cool colors to show the 3D form of the rocks. And you'll learn how to use color and value changes to make rocks look wet. Now, I did want to have some warmer notes in the rocks. Finally, you'll learn how I uh, plan and adjust a composition so that I have some control or, or some I can suggest where the viewer's eye travels through the painting as they're looking at it.